Hi guys, so Halloween's coming up and I thought I would theme the rabbit shed Halloween and yeah I'll show you guys what I did with the shed. It hasn't really changed much since the last shed tour video um, but there are some things that have changed and I thought it would just be nice to put some Halloween decorations up in the shed. So let's get on with the rabbit shed tour. So outside the bunny shed in their aviary um, is some pumpkins that are just placed right next to the aviary and inside the aviary is sort of the same as what it was in the last shed tour um, difference being that they don't have their dig box outside because rain got in it and the soil got all wet and it went really gross so we cleaned it out and put it inside the shed so it won't get damp they also have a pumpkin on the outside of the shed, on the shed door. So we're now in the shed and I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview and then I'll go around what Halloween things I've put in the shed. Sorry if you can hear any background noise, there's been builders next door for the last few weeks and there is some planes going over so I'm sorry if you can hear that. But yeah, I'll just get into the shed tour. So starting off this side I just have the hooks again with the cleaning supplies and some brushes for the rabbits. Along here I have their heater and on their heater I have their hats. The heat is not on but when the heater does come on I'll obviously take the hats off. It's just I didn't have any other hooks to put them on so I've just put the hats there for now. Out the window you can see the chickens. Along here I've put up this like Halloween garland thing I made a few years ago and down here they just have their very destroyed carrot tree and just the normal things they normally have like their tunnel, their tube, their rug. On top of their house I put this little pumpkin toy with just some sort of autumn -y theme shoes and then next to the house I've put that's like where their extra chews and toys are. Next to that is their IKEA hole. Inside they have their litter tray and hay. And on top I've put Luna's old uh, Halloween fleece liner down which I don't think will last very long now because Binks will definitely destroy this. Um, he destroys literally everything I put in this shed. And I have my witch's broomsticks that I made. And next to that I have this candy corn chew and this little like pumpkin plushy dog toy. In front of the IKEA hole is their dig box that's now inside um, because it was getting really wet and gross outside and inside they just have some like snowflake bedding just to dig out. I might get some care fresh in the future because this bedding gets everywhere when they're digging. Then I have just a cardboard cat scratcher which they've almost chewed up and these cooling slabs I was actually going to take up because it's autumn now um, but Alice still likes laying on them, so I've just left them down. And then that's where their litter is stored and their water dish. Along this wall I have their signs as normal, but I have put up some pumpkin lights. shelf they have some herbs and I've also put this bunny cookie jar in here which I had in my bedroom and I've put some of their um, treats in there 
and I thought that just looked really nice on their shelf and then they also have their temperature so I know if it gets too low I'll put the heater on but it's actually okay at the moment and at the back behind this curtain I have their hay storage and I've put them in these bags this time and it's so much easier than a plastic bag and I have their cleaning supplies and just some other random things so I hope you enjoyed this Halloween shed tour and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Charlotte's Creatures and check out my Etsy shop, also called Charlotte's Creatures. So thanks for watching. Bye.